Pat Cube is back on day three here in Cloud City Mobile World Congress. This is where all the action is, and this is the Cube set. I'm John Roy, Dave Vellante. We're here with DR, Daniel Royston, who is the CEO of Telco, DR, as well as the CEO of Takogi. Great to see you again. Hey. Hey, how are you guys? Good. Great time, great boat last night, good. Industry executives, a lot of intimate, high players, big players here yeah. in the industry, even though not a lot of attendance, but the right people are here. And events are back. Yeah, yeah. I think, um, you know, MWC was the first event to cancel with COVID in uh, February of 20, end of February 2020. It's the first big event to come back. It's such nice symmetry. Um, yeah, typically you have big delegations, hundreds of people from the big groups coming to the show. We're seeing the executives are coming, smaller delegations, but they're all in the booth and that we're having great conversations and it's awesome. Yeah, and the thing I would say is that uh, the Cube's back too, we'd like them to be, be in here in the action because one of the things that's happened with this hybrid events is that people are watching and so there's a virtual space and the physical space and Cloud City has built out paradise. It's beautiful and spectacular behind us. If you look around for the people who can't see, it's really made for the combination of on-site and virtual experience. The yeah. content, the people, Bon Jovi last night, just it's just the talk of Mobile World Congress and it's translating to the industry. This has been amazing, so congratulations. Thank you well, so and much. I think, I got to say, so you have a lot to say, as we all know, Yeah. but I think it was easy for Can't the big shut guys. Can't shut me up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why we love you in the cube. Yeah. But I think it was easy for the big guys to tap out and say, hey, we can save a bunch more money. Yeah. We don't really have much to talk about, right? We, we're going to talk about it again. <laughs> hey, let's talk about 5G. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah 5G's coming. Exactly. It's a revolution. Yeah. You know, whereas, I told you about 5G, though. Whereas the narrative <laughs> here is all about the future. Yeah. And, but the, and, and it's not about the future, blah, blah, blah. It's about the future of, you know, this is the journey that we're taking, yeah. and here's where it's starting, and with yeah. meat in the bone. Yeah, and I think what's really interesting about Cloud City is the fact that we've brought these different players together that are all focused, as you said, on the on the future. And I'm starting to see these connections where they're collaborating. Right? Vendors that didn't know each other probably would never have partnered before. Totally different areas. I'm hearing the conversation in the booth about like, hey, I talked to P1 Security, or I went and talked to you know LMX, and we're putting deals together because we're complementary, and it's amazing. And, yeah, so it's and, the, really and, the, and the integration, partnership, we heard that from Google yesterday on our, our news exclusive break in there. They see integration, and they're talking about Android, what Android did for mobile. They're seeing a whole new software paradigm coming into Telco. It's partnership, it's ecosystem, and open. These are new kind of dynamics. And I think for you guys, when you say integration and open, I think those things are really paired and they're important. A lot of times telco people will hear integration and they'll think customization, right? Coding it up and customizing it so that they talk to each other. But I think the open part of that is really important where we're connecting via APIs and I think that's bring in the hyperscalers, that's what they do, right? They provide these systems and the software that's all API based and you can use it very quickly and you can unravel it if you need to. It's that feature velocity we talked about a couple days ago. And automation is the underpinning yeah. of that. I mean, that's yeah. really the theme, right? right? It's, it's not like a, a one-off, hardcore custom integration that's going to be frozen. One time to upgrade every 18 months or whatever it is, yeah? <laughs> right. yeah. It's, it's alive. Yeah. Yeah. How about Musk yesterday? I mean, he's always a crowd pleaser. First of all, my kids love him. He's crazy. He doesn't my love Elon Musk. I mean, I mean, he <laughs> is amazing. He, he's, he's a builder, and he takes no prisoners. He's just, you know what? My goal was not to go bankrupt. That's what he said yeah. Yeah, a couple of years ago. Which was brilliant which was because just, everybody's gone bankrupt in that business, and he just, you know, throws and, it off. And he's just like, look, we're here to just going to chip away at it, and we're just going to keep striving. He's not making up excuses. He takes the failures. He takes the face plants. He gets back up, and he keeps going. He's focused on building He's focused future. on one thing, right? He's not focused on everything. He's focused on getting to Mars. And I think that's what I, I like to compare myself to Elon Musk, right? Not that I'm building rockets or getting to Mars, but that the hard problem yeah. that I'm solving is getting telco to the public cloud. And that's going to take a decade. It might have been accelerated because of COVID. It might have taken 20 years, and now it might take 10. But you look at what he does, and that guy, he has he has haters on Twitter. They're kind of pew, pew, always like throwing their barbs. But he's like, I got I got my rocket company. I got my you know communication and space company. We're going to need to bore holes in the boring company. I need batteries. I got my Tesla company. And so this guy focuses. Well, he's got some haters, but he's got a lot more lovers on his on the side because he, and people might not know this, but he fires his entire PR department <laughs> because he's like, well, I don't need PR. He I'm is, just going to go right? do he's my own, his own PR. Yeah. Obviously the, the crypto stuff's always fun, 
Dogecoin is always a laugh. Yeah, I think he just um, plays around with that. And, and, yeah. and it's just more of like playing. Yeah, that's a watch yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just likes <laughs> to see what he can do. <laughs> Dogecoin's yeah. happening. Saturday Night Live was an interesting um, thing he did, but I think he, he illustrates the point of a new generation. And I think my young kids, not young, they're in their 20s now, they look at him and they say, that's aspirational because he's building and he's not, he's focused on that one thing. And again, the, the growth that you mentioned, telco to the cloud, getting back to that, is that I want to ask you this growth question. It used to be like, okay, growth was there, people expanded cell towers, networks were networks. Now it seems like the growth of telco, what telco is going into with the edge and all the open RAN stuff, which means that we need more infrastructure. Yeah. We need more stuff, there's more, there's more needed. And there's growth yeah. behind it. What's your, what's your reaction? I think we need more software, right? Software eats the world, right? And it's I mean, there is a lot of hardware to chomp in telco, and it's just going to keep eating it, um, and that's just going to accelerate. And I think that's where telcos need to start to build that muscle. They don't have great software capability. They don't have public cloud building capability. And so that's a big upskilling, that's a new hiring, and I think it's, a, it's an executive conversation. It's not just an IT thing or just a, a marketing thing or network thing. I got to chime in here for a second because we, there are a lot of parallels with how the data center transition has occurred and what's happening here. We talk about all the time, it was a mainframe, et cetera. There, there are parallels. Yeah, yeah. And what happened when the data center went to software defined, a whole bunch of hardware was allocated to run all the software defined stuff. It wasn't built for that. Yeah. But the cloud, yeah. what you guys are doing with Togi, yeah. and taking advantage of AWS's Nitro and Graviton, that's built to, to be software defined. Correct. And so the telcos are going to go through the same thing. If they just virtualize, they're going to say, oh wow, we're wasting 30% of our power, our compute power yeah. on just supporting all this software defined stuff because it wasn't built for that. Yeah, yeah. But the cloud is built for that. Yeah. And that is going to be yeah, a huge difference. Point. And I keep trying to make this distinction and I think people in telco still don't get this about the public cloud. They think of it as a place. It's a place to run a workload. And that tells me they think of it as infrastructure. They think of it as server still. They're like, well I'm going to run it in my closet or AWS's closet. I'm like, and I was just having a conversation about this with a senior person from GSMA. I'm like, it's actually about the software that's there. It's about the databases they're building and the analytics and the AI and the ML that they let you buy by the minutes or by the API call. And that is my, like you need to think about that because it's mind blowing. Yeah. It's a totally different way to think. And, and you're totally right. And just going to, again, give you props on this. I've had many one-ons with Andy Jatsu the past seven years uh, uh, for exclusives, but over the years it's been consistent. Replatforming, lifting and shift wasn't the end game, okay? Replatforming in the cloud, certainly a great advantage, a great starting point. It was the refactoring, and that's why you see Amazon Web Services, for instance, keep adding more services, because that's the model. Yeah. They keep offering more goodness so that you, the businesses could refactor, not just replatform. Yeah. And that's what you're getting, I think, with the AI and machine learning, where you start getting into these new use cases, but well, why couldn't do that before? Right, right. This is going to be a huge game changer. Well, Forrest Brazil, right, a uh, great guy, a cloud guru wrote a great blog called uh, Lift and Shift is a Ticking Time Bomb. And it's a great start to get your stuff over there. It forces your team to start to interact with like an AWS or a GCP in a real way. Like now they, they got to use it, you take it away. And I'm like, but once you move it, you got to refactor, you got to rewrite, and then that's why it's a ticking time bomb. You got to get, move it over and get going. Daniel Royston, DR, digital revolution of <laughs> UR1. You got it here, Telco DR. And this has been a great experience for theCUBE as we get back to business with yeah. real life events and virtual. For the folks who couldn't make it here, Barcelona is still a great city. Obviously a great place to come and events will be back. They'll be hybrid, they'll be different. Certainly theCUBE will be doubling down, but, but we got a great video. I want to share with the group, the Barcelona and Cloud City. This is a montage of what it's like here and a little experiential video, so take it away and run that video. Hi, I'm Katie Goldfinch, here in Barcelona for an action-packed day two at Telco DR's Cloud City. This morning, the focus was firmly on DR and her MWC keynote, which told Telco execs in no uncertain terms that now is the time to act on embracing public cloud. 
Back in Cloud City, content ruled the day with both the Cube and Cloud City live stages, hosting public cloud thought leaders covering a wide range of topics to educate and inspire attendees. And in the beautiful space of Cloud City, the excitement grew throughout the day as we streamed MWC's exclusive keynote from Elon Musk. And preparations got underway for tonight's star performer, John Bon Jovi. an amazing day from groundbreaking keynotes into space and back to a star-studded performance. Don't forget you can catch up on anything you missed and join us for the rest of the week at cloudcity.telcodr.com or following hashtag cloudcity. Back. That was a great look at what's going on here in Cloud City. This next video, DR, you're going to love this. Your yes. keynote highlights and some Bon Jovi highlights, which by the way, was the most epic thing. People were packed. It was the exciting. The place was packed. Yeah. They had the security get clicking people, counting all the people. People are standing back. All the people from their booths are all coming in to watch He this. was pumped. Let's take a yeah, look at this awesome highlight video from yesterday. Dave, that was a highlight reel yesterday. Um, DR has got some action on stage, great messaging, um, revolution, digital revolution. You know, your comment about how you think like Elon Musk, yeah. that's an inspiration from it. I mean, what a lot of people don't know is when you look at autonomous vehicles, remember you're driving down Palo Alto, you see one of those LiDAR things? He's doing away with LiDAR, it's too expensive, it's $7,000. He's taking it with cheap cameras and software down to a couple hundred bucks per vehicle. Wow. That's yeah. the way he thinks, and yeah. you're doing the same thing to Telco. I am. I am, I'm trying to change Delco, right? I mean, he's changing the world. He might be one of the most important humans on Earth right now. I don't think I'm exactly that level, but I'm trying to become a really important person in Telco. We have this great message. I think it's going to help Telcos get better businesses, and I think it's, it's a great idea. For the folks out there watching, what is that big change? If you're going to drive down this Cloud City street, main street of Cloud City, and just all about cloud, because public cloud's here. It's going to become hybrid dynamics, operating models are changing. What is the key message that you'd like to send? I think all of the software in Telco needs to be rewritten. And that's how many millions of lines of, of code is that? And it's going to be shrunk down and put out on the public cloud and rewritten using the software Legos of the public cloud. That is a big undertaking. No one's working on it. 
I'm working on it. I'm doing it. Let's go do it. Let's do it. And if you look out a couple of years, what would be a, a successful, what does checkmate look like in this chess game? That you <laughs> I'm winning? <laughs> you Hashtag You're winning? Your opening moves are damn good, as we say right? in chess. I mean, I think it, it takes, again, it takes singular focus like Elon Musk on Mars. Someone needs to singularly focus on getting to the public cloud. And you can't sit there and protect your old business models, your, you know, uh, CR revenue if you're Amdocs, right? Give that up. When they start to give up their CR revenue to focus on public cloud, then I'll be, okay, there's yeah. there's a worthy adversary out there really focusing on it. So. I mean, the late Clay Christensen had all the same things. Innovation dilemma, you just get stuck here. What, what do, you do you do? Do you kill your own, to br you eat your own, to bring in the new? I mean, all these things are going on. And this is, this is a huge test. You have to be willing to burn some boats. But I, I think it's transparency, simplicity, and the consumer saying, hey, this is a great experience. That's the tell sign, yeah. right? And that's what we're going to see over this next decade. Consumers love their telco. Yeah, right? I can't wait for that. Right? I want to love like, my telco. Like you love Netflix. Yes, right? well, exactly. DR, we love you because you've got a bold vision. You're putting it out there and you're driving it. You're walking the talk. Congratulations. And again, Cloud City is a home run. Great awesome. success. Thanks yeah, for thank having Yeah, thank you guys, as always. Super okay. fun. Okay. Great day. Okay, Cube's coverage here. And remember, we're here getting all the action, and it's all going to go online after asynchronous consumption, but right now it's all about Mobile World Congress and Cloud City. This is the action, and of course, Adam in Cloud City Studio is waiting for us, and he's going to take it from here.